Hey guys, welcome back. Time for another mailbag video. Got a pile of parts in, most of which you can see I've gone through a lot of them, but I haven't been playing with many. I thought I'd give you a spin through before I really get into them. So let's just go ahead and get started with one here. Guys, what I got is a bunch of RGB LEDs. Pretty cool little devices. Let's go ahead and take one out. These are a really big dome top on them. They're not uh, really fancy addressable units or anything, but I think these will do for some fun little projects. Uh, basic, not much to it. Four pins, nice big uh, soft dome on it. We'll give them a try. Next up, let's see what we've got. Ah, oh, I remember ordering these. I've never seen anything like this, guys. These are actually little tiny air pumps. And let's see if I can get this on camera. I'm not sure. There we go. Mini pump. Uh, voltage DC, 3 volt. Wild little thing. I think this is going to be really handy for some projects. You just hook up some simple little, um, like RC fuel line would be the right size, or aquarium air tank, or aquarium uh, airline. And uh, we should be able to actually do some like soft robotics and have inflate uh, like muscles and tendons and stuff. It should be pretty neat. Neat little device. Big package next up. This one, I'll admit, I was playing with this already. I couldn't, I couldn't wait for this. This is the adapter cables that go with it. But here what we've got is a Pico projector, 960 by 540. This is an, an LED projector that we're going to give it a try with a Raspberry Pi uh, or the PC Duino. I think this will be really handy. Oh, tight fit. Has an SD card for storage, so you can store some movies and stuff on it. It's about the size of a, a thick iPhone, and this will be a standalone video coming up, guys. I'm really impressed with the results of this. I had to play with it. We'll uh, we'll get looking at this in an upcoming video. As part of it, I got some adapter cables and some more cables so that we can hook this. It actually will hook up to my Android cell phone or anything, any other HDMI type interface. We're good to go here with just about anything. It does work really good. We'll check it out upcoming. Next on the list, what do we got here, guys? Oh yeah. These are some USB stick uh, designed, well, what I was hoping to use these for was the software to find radios. And uh, I got all excited about the price on these guys, and I think they have the wrong chipset. I don't think we can use these with our SDRs, but I will give them a try. We'll see what we can do. If nothing else, we got a remote and an antenna. Uh, the price on these, I forget, it was, it was really cheap. It was cheaper than I'd ever seen them, which uh, uh, should have been a warning sign to me, but hey, oops. Next up here... We've got a 5.8 gigahertz 32 channel AV transmitter. This is going to be for the video downlink on the Versa Wing. I simply love these transmitters. I believe they're, uh, if I remember right, I think it's 600 milliwatt. Um, really, really, really good because it gets along with all the channels, all the standard FPV channels. So you can use your Fat Sharks or any uh, cheap base station receiver and they get along with everything. Comes with a simple antenna and a simple connection system. Really, really well done, actually. Uh, great unit. We'll uh, we'll cover these in an upcoming video too. Next up, more RC stuff. This is a new module for my TH9X radio. Um, what I wanted to do. Let's see if I can get it out here. This is the FlySky that I'm using. Uh, all my receivers are just these cheap FlySky ones. What I wanted to do was mod this with a slightly uh, better antenna system and capability of going to uh, another uh, amplifier, possibly, if you wanted to. Um, it was cheaper than, it was easier than modding my existing one to just grab another to experiment with. And we'll give this a try in an upcoming video. More goodies, guys. This one I'll zoom in on. This is my new Remzibi on-screen display. 
This is an OSD that gives you a heads up display for your FPV planes. This just patches your telemetry into your video. With the GPS receiver here, it also comes with a programmer so we can customize it. Uh, BMS Web did an awesome video. I'll link down below to these uh, the coverage of this unit. I grabbed it because it was ultra cheap. It can't do uh, autopilot functionality, just display only and displays your battery voltage and all the good stuff. Really, really cool unit. This is going on the FT Versa wing. Next up, more RC related items. We've got some lipos. I grabbed these. These aren't only going to be RC related. I use the uh, two cell lipos a lot in my Arduino projects and these are significantly smaller than my existing ones. Only 250 milliamp hour, 20 C rated. I don't know whether I'd really try and pull 20 C from these, but hey, you guess you could. Really, really handy little package for feeding your Arduino projects for a long time. With the nanos I use, the, uh, the raw input pin, you, they can handle the two cell lipo no problem and use the onboard regulator and you're set. Great little batteries. Can't wait to charge these up and give them a go. Last up guys, we've got a box here and I've already been into this. I just had to. This came from Great Hobbies here in Ontario. I had to get one of these. I am committing to bringing you guys some better RC footage this year and this is going to help me do it razor blade handy. We have a Mobius camera. This is with the C lens. We've got a wide angle lens on it. Looks like I tapped the power button by accident. Really nice wide angle lens. Should work great. Full HD for onboard video. Really looking forward to using this. It comes with your standard USB cable. Nothing special. A mount which I can 3D print just about any kind of mount I want. Tripod mount as well. And separately, I did order this. This allows you to do live video out and feed the battery within the Mobius from onboard the plane. If you chose to fly through this, you could. Uh, I likely never will. This will be more for external views, but what I can do is I can add this to my EPP FPV and put it into my camera switcher and use this as an external view and I can view it through my heads up. So yeah, we'll give this a try guys. Really looking forward to bringing you some good videos this year. If you like this sort of thing, please consider a thumbs up below. It really helps out the channel. I can't wait to show you some onboard FPV footage this summer. Cheers guys.